welcome to our review on polymers. So when we're talking about a polymer, we're referring to something that's made from many alkene monomers joining together. And to do this, they need two conditions, which is a high pressure and a catalyst. Now, when we're joining all these alkene monomers together using our high pressure and a catalyst, this is a type of reaction called addition polymerization. Now, we've already encountered the word polymer in our biology course, where we've been looking at things like DNA, for example. So we do have other chemical polymers as well, which generally tend to be things like plastics as far as your chemistry course is concerned. If you're asked to ever name a polymer, it's the easiest thing to do in the world. Whatever they've told you the name of the monomer is, write that down exactly as it is, but write the word poly in front. If they ask you to name the monomer from the name of the polymer that they've given you, just take away the poly and copy the rest of the name. So it's a nice simple thing to do there. If they ask you to draw the displayed formula for a polymer, then they will always give you the displayed formula for the monomer first. So very simply, what you need to do is copy that monomer formula with one exception. You don't put the double bond in. So you lose the double bond and then you extend the arm sticking outwards from there. Then you put it in brackets and put a little N in the bottom right, which just means that this is repeating over and over again. If they give you the polymer formula and ask you to draw the displayed formula for the monomer, take away the brackets, get rid of the little N, take away the little arm sticking out the side and put a double bond in the middle. So make sure that you know how to convert between the monomer and the polymer in terms of displayed formulas. So when we actually come to try to draw polymers, we're not going to try to draw each individual unit because these are large as their name has suggested. So instead, what we tend to do is just use lines to represent a polymer molecule, as you can see on the right there. So we see two different types of polymer. Top one is what's called a thermosoftening polymer. And you can see that there the polymer molecules are just kind of floating around next to each other. The second one, the thermosetting polymer, these ones have a lot more structure because they've got these cross links that go between the polymer chains. Now those cross links are actually covalent bonds that are joining the polymer molecules together. And this makes those polymers harder to separate. So what we actually find is that if you're comparing the difference between thermosetting and thermosoftening polymers, if you're trying to separate those polymer molecules, it's far easier to do so in thermosoftening because you're just overcoming weak intermolecular forces. Whereas the thermosetting, you've got covalent bonds which require a lot more energy to be overcome. By the end of this review, hopefully you now know what a polymer is. You can name polymers and draw the displayed formulas for them. And you can also identify the difference between thermosoftening and thermosetting polymers, represent them with those little diagrams and explain the key differences in their structure.